many of you will know that I'm doing a collaboration. Collaboration is the wrong word. Volt Test have lent me uh, a machine, a battery state of health machine to test. And a couple of people, you know, the doubters, um, I keep saying, do not buy an electric vehicle that hasn't got a battery state of health. Ultimate admiration for these guys, because as you know, um, my channel's about EVs. I'm just trying to warn you and make sure that you do the job. If you want an EV, I don't want you to get ripped off. I don't hate EVs. I just don't want you to get ripped off. I hate people lying about them. So here we go. David Jacobi. I'm having a FaceTime call with him on Thursday, so I'll, I'll, hopefully I've not killed his name there. Complete transparency on exterior damage. Total blindness on battery health. Well, again, in BCA, there's even the one with battery damage the other day the uh, Audi e-tron, even that one had a condition report, never mentioned anything about the battery underneath, it's just all outside. So, as he says, blindness on battery health, another day another dealer learns the hard way. Last week a new dealer in Arizona joined the Volt Test network. With every new customer, first thing we do is schedule an onboarding call with our team to make sure they have all the necessary elements to test their inventory and to clearly explain the value of our reports to their customers. Absolutely invaluable. And no, I'm not getting paid to say it. I'm not getting paid anything. They've, they've sent me a machine. They've given me a free subscription at the moment and let me. They're so confident in the machine. They've just let me carry on and, and do what I want. And, and test the ones I want. So th this I found very interesting. During this first call, we invite them to run a test together on an EV that they have on their lot. They told us, let's try this on the 2019 Tesla Model 3 Long Range. We bought it at an auction a few days before. We noticed it has some problems with charging. What you see in the picture is what came out after a two minute test with Volt Test. Something we've started to see more frequently in the last few months, very, very worried. Significant cell imbalance, 150 millivolts difference between highest and lowest cell voltages. I haven't seen that so far. Cell voltage range from 3.726 volts to 3.876 volts caused by a single underperforming cell group. What does that mean? Essentially, the car is almost inoperable as it charges up to a very limited charge level. Even worse at this mileage, this vehicle is past battery warranty coverage. As per the dealer's exact words, we would never have bought the car if we'd had this information. Well, correct. Now they're facing a $15,000 battery replacement on a vehicle they thought was a solid acquisition. Two minutes of testing would have saved them from this mistake. Auction houses continue operating as if battery condition is somehow unknowable. Thank you. They'll document every scratch on the bumper, but won't tell you if the most expensive component is failing. This scenario doesn't happen often, but when it does, the financial impact is devastating. Now, at this point, I'd just like to intervene in the story because this is a car I saw sold in the auction a few weeks ago, and then I noticed the vehicle had been returned. It's for sale in the auction again. This time it has additional information. Non-runner, overheating when battery connected, 12 volt battery disconnected, potential fire risk. It's not just the financial impact that can be devastating, it's the consequences. This vehicle is a fire risk as soon as you connect the battery. Imagine not knowing that before you bought it. Imagine what you're putting at risk by not testing the battery before you take a vehicle into stock. The consequences do not bear thinking about. Battery state of health tests are imperative. I cannot stress this enough. In my opinion, they are a matter of life and death. They go beyond financial consequences. Smart dealers are starting to demand this data up front. Do not, no, no man dealers, if you're buying an electric vehicle, you need a battery state of health certificate because buying blind in the EV market is just financially reckless. The technology to prevent these situations exists today and it's called Volt Test. The question is, if you're in the car business, what are you waiting for? Used EVs will be more and more part of your day to day. And even if you don't prioritize EVs in your inventory, you might want to be informed before getting a bad trade in. Honestly, 
You have all the right tools to determine residual value on internal combustion engine vehicles. Why miss the same peace of mind on EVs? What are you doing today to protect your EV purchases? Now this is it. This is the certificate that comes out. And you'll see here, there's the cells. It's kind of a, a long bar graph of all the cell groups. And then that one there, and there you go. That was July 28, 2025, uh, Arizona. It's a Tesla. And you've got your red symbol there, critical issue, check details. But there you go, you can see the bank 36 there, I think it is. And that's way, way down. 3.876, 150 millivolts, 3.726. So they want to bought it. I can't stress it enough. And as I say, I've done a few tests. Um, I've not done as many videos as I hoped. And that's because... I'm kind of digesting the test and I'm getting them all together and comparing them. And I'll show you one of my comparisons in a minute, why it's so important for you as a customer as well to demand a battery health certificate because there can be two cars that look identical. Let me show you in a minute. Now I've tested two cars. They're the same year, same make and model. As you can see here, same temperatures virtually. They were tested within uh, a few minutes of each other. Green, no issue, 100% state of health, estimated range 258, odometer 25,215, fast first slow charges, not available. The next one, 90%, estimated range 232 miles, that's done 26,884 miles. Again, how can that be worth the same? They're the, the two identical cars. Two identical. Same make model. Virtually the same mileage. 10% difference in state of health. So two exactly the same cars. Two exactly the same virtually mileages. 10% difference in battery state of health. 258 miles to 232. So a 26 mile difference in range too. It's 10%. Do not buy an electric vehicle without a battery state of health certificate. And as I say, all you people saying, oh, you know, you can't tell much off a two minute test. You can tell enough, can't you? You can, you can tell enough to either get it tested, have a full test or walk away or choose between two cars you know it makes sense thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye